All right, so for the last tutorial, we left off at this point. We created our NFTs, as you can see here. And for this tutorial, which is number four in the series, we'll be, we will be creating the, the metadata that we need to that we need to deploy them on OpenSea. Okay, so you can go to this tutorial, which I will put in the description, and just uh, do the reading. I recommend doing this reading. It's, uh, it's pretty informative. It tells you what you need to know about the, the NFTs, the JSON files, the data, IPFS, which is the where we're going to be um, uploading the, P the, the NFTs to, and the and Piñata, which is the, the, the website that we need here. So just do the reading if you can, and if not, then I'll show you how to do it anyways. So what you want to do, you want to go to to this part here. So where it says, uh, so right here, yeah. All right, so you want to go to piñata.cloud and it's going to show something like this. You want to, you have to create like an account. So create an account, go through the process, you know, and once you have one, just log in. I already have my credentials here. So I'll log in. I already have here a bunch of things. As it's gonna show, it, these are my NFT collections that I've deployed on OpenSea already. And what you wanna do here is, you wanna go to upload, and you wanna upload a folder. Oh, I'm using, uh, yeah, I'm using Safari. Try to use uh, Google Chrome, cause that's the one that works. Yeah, Safari doesn't work here. So, anyways, uh. So you wanna locate where this folder is, the the one that has the images, right? So you use, do that, locate that folder, and then you'll go again to Piñata. You wanna log in, you'll go to upload, upload a folder. You'll go through your files and try to locate where that is. In my case, I think I can see here. So it's here, then you go here and go to the images folder it should be in the output folder here so once you go once you get here then just uh, click on upload and it will tell you it's gonna upload these certain files so click yes and just give it a name so much wow doge club right and then we'll just upload it so then it tells you that it's been uploaded already as you can see it's here and you want to copy this, the CID. So copy the CID. And now let's open the tutorial. So I know that you have to go to the metadata PY. But well, let's just open the tutorial so that I can show you. Uh, here. Let's close this. All right. This tutorial, uh, you know, it, it really walks you through how to do things. So just go to where it says line 17, so you want to open the metadata py file. Then you want to go to line 17, and it's here, it says you want to paste your ICD code here. Uh, just right here. You just make sure that you leave the part that says, leave the part that says IPFS here. And you want to have it like this. And then for the, for the name, For the name here, you can um, you can pick something like what you want your NFTs to be named. So you can put like Doge number one. I mean Doge number, and then the number will get uh, set by by the library. And the description, you can just put like uh, something about your collection. This is an NFT collection. Just feel free to elaborate. And that's what you want to do. And then you want to save this file. And let's see what we have to do next. And then we just have to generate the metadata. And then we'll go to the terminal, make sure that you're inside the virtual environment and you're inside of this folder. And we'll, then we'll uh, issue the following command, metadata.py. And then it will generate the metadata. So it will tell you which edition you wanna do this for. So just uh, put the name of your, of your uh, edition in this case much you can see it on the left by the way 
you can see here all right so let's do that and then it will tell you uh, yes this edition exists and I'm generating the JSON metadata and then once you then you'll see that the JSON folder is here already you open that up and you can see all of these files are are here so there is a there is a problem with this library that once you generate the JSON data it gives you like uh, you know it gives you the JSON uh, data but the files the extension of the files this is not JSON it's just it doesn't have an extension right so you wanna what you can do is you can go to the folder and if you have a Mac you can or a Windows computer or any kind of computer you can actually so for me in my case you c I, I'm gonna re rename all of them right and I have this option to add the extension that JSON at the end of the file so I'm gonna go do that and once you do that you wanna ha you'll see that you know all the files would be renamed with the extension that's JSON that which is what you want so that's like something that came in the library uh, I can't figure out yet how to add the extension uh, through the code that's why I do it manually but as you can see it's pretty fast if, if you can do it like automatically um, yeah so once you have the JSON data the next uh, next part go to Pinata again go to upload and then upload the folder the JSON folder now and once again you can just well it's not here oh yeah it's here so then just locate the folder and then upload all of them with the with the right termination that's JSON right and you wanna say something like you know much well this is a different collection so I'll just put much wow those JSON I forgot club uh, anyways doesn't matter and then you have your JSON it should appear in any uh, any moment here and now you have your JSON file so we'll need that in the future to deploy on OpenSea and once again if you go to the JSON you can see here is you know the description of the NFT and then you have the JSON data so like the background is red the base is black and so forth and so on so you can go to this tutorial again and it's a pretty good tutorial you can just read over this I'll put the link in the description and it will tell you how we're doing things uh, these are the two tutorials that we're using from um, from this uh, from this guy I guess and afterwards we're just uh, we will be deploying on OpenSea so we'll be using something different for that and this is where where we're gonna end this tutorial so next time we will be deploying on OpenSea thank you